This morning, money may be getting tighter after a new inflation report shows a slight increase. This comes after six months of consistent drops. One economic expert says this could be a hiccup in what's to come. Laura Aguirre has more. The Consumer Price Index out this morning from the Labor Department shows a 0.2% rise last month, which is a 2.6% increase year over year. The October reading is also a slight step back from the Fed's long-held goal of 2%. Our policy stance, strength in the economy and the labor market can be maintained, with inflation moving sustainably down to 2%. Chairman Jerome Powell announced another quarter point drop last week, right after the presidential election. We've learned from the election just how toxic inflation and high prices and high interest rates are to the American people. Economist Larry Summers served as Treasury Secretary in the Clinton administration and is the former director of the National Economic Council. The Fed has been in too much of a hurry to cut interest rates and much too much of a hurry to promise future interest rate cuts. While Summers has concerns about the pace of Powell's strategy, many consumers had been waiting for a drop in rates to make things like homes, vehicles, and credit cards less expensive. Taking a closer look at the CPI numbers, energy costs appeared to stay steady after a string of recent monthly declines. Used vehicle prices jumped 2.7 percent, and airline fares also climbed 3.2 percent. One drop in something most of us use every week, gas prices, down nearly a tenth of a percentage point across all fuel types. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting.